Uh, so this exercise is a walk out with uh, mountain climbers. So it's a nice workout. What we're going to do, we're going to throw some shoulder taps in it as well. So you go walk out, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, mountain climbers for about eight seconds and then come back. So a walk out is, we don't stress the hamstrings, so you can let the knees bend. You're just going to go forwards, come out into a higher plank. Once you're here, don't squeeze up into the neck and shoulders. Just let your weight fall right through your chest so that, that works for you. That's your walk out. Shoulder tap, we're going to reach to one side and then reach to the other. Uh, to be really technical, the more square to the floor your body is, the more work your abs will do to hold you square. If you lean out when you shoulder tap like this, then you won't really do that much work. But if you put the core effort in, when you keep your body sort of really square to the floor, this missing pillar, your abs will take up the work that the missing pillar will normally be supporting. And you can turn a shoulder tap into quite a good uh, exercise. So if you lean out, it's okay, but it's really just movement. Um, if you stay square, do good tension in the core, it's actually quite a good move. Um, Alright, so our mountain climbers, we can do our basics if we don't have much mobility. We can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's stick with those and then we'll walk back. I'm going to re demonstrate a couple of reps and then I'll talk about how you can progress that mountain climb. So let me re demonstrate a couple of reps. We're walking out, knees are allowed to bend, weight through the chest. Don't squeeze up into the neck and shoulders, just a nice high plank cross up position for your chest. Square as you tap, square as you tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pop both left feet back and back you go. Show you one more time. Walk out. Shoulder tap nice and square, abs alone. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 seconds, didn't I? So there you go. There we go, we've got a walk out, we've got shoulder taps and mountain climbers, nice little combination. Uh, you can't move those mountain climbers on. So if you've got the flexibility and the mobility in your pelvis, then you can really get this leg all the way up here and let your pelvis drop through. It's advanced. So I would walk through to make sure that you've got that range. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. Uh, and it can be balanced, so it becomes quite mobile. Yeah, so those are your sort of progression for your mountain climb. So I'll show you a rep. I'll show you a rep where I'll do about four seconds of basic mountain climb, about four seconds of the advanced. So knees bent, out we go. Abs on, don't be a peak, sag or peak, so nice and neutral. Abs are on, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. There's four seconds of your normals. And if you want to advance it, you can really pop through, kind of a sink and move. There we go. So that's a walkout, shoulder tap to mountain climb. It's a nice little combination. Enjoy. Uh, please do like, follow, subscribe, uh, message us. Let us know what you want to see and uh, we'll instruct it. Thank you very much.